Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief but thorough review of the Ruvalk Mark 1F CHS, a premium pack helicopter that currently sits at 10.7 BR and is ranked 6 in the British Helicopter Tech Tree and also costs $49.99. In this video, I'll go over how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses, I'll give some scores in several key areas, and then I'll give my final recommendation and if I feel that this vehicle is worth purchasing or not. As always, please subscribe if you like this kind of content but without further ado, let's get into the video. Now to start, I'll place the stats here on the side of the screen. Now with that out of the way, let's get into how it plays. In short, the Ruvalk is a standoff helicopter. This is not the type of helicopter that will thrive at close range, as it has middling rockets, an average cannon, and mediocre maneuverability. Instead, due to its excellent ZT-6 ATGMs, great Mistral air-to-air -air missiles, and good speed, the Ruvalk can move from place to place on the battlefield taking pot shots at tanks from upwards of 8 kilometers out. The ZT-6 can penetrate and kill essentially every tank in-game with a direct hit, and with the correct loadout, you can have up to 16 of them on your helicopter at once. Further, due to its excellent thermals and gunner optics, you should be able to pinpoint targets of opportunity with ease, making this into a fantastic long-range support slash sniping helicopter. Now with that said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses, and first for its strengths, it has excellent thermal imaging and and an auto track feature to easily find and track targets. Second, it can carry up to 16 fantastic ZT-6 ATGMs. Between their relatively high speed of 530 meters per second, 10 kilometers of firing range, 5.37 kilograms of explosive equivalent, 1,350 millimeters of armor pen, and tandem charge warhead, these missiles may feature the best combination of traits for an ATGM thus far in game. Third, the Ruval can carry Mistral AA missiles, of which carry a decent mix of speed, range, power, and maneuverability. These are better than AIM-9 92s, of which are very common. For its fourth strength, it has an excellent zoom for the gunner's sight, which reaches over 61 times zoom. Fifth, the Ruvalk features 170 countermeasures, of which will launch automatically when missiles are launched at you. And finally, of course, it features very good RP and SL bonuses because it is a premium vehicle. And now for the weaknesses. While fast, the Ruvalk isn't very maneuverable and will thus again not be all that great when it comes to close range. Now, second, the FZ. The 49 rockets are only decent and lack an impressive amount of armor pen and warhead weight, which means that you will have a tough time penning any main battle tanks from the front, and thus will need to volley shots at the side of main battle tanks if for whatever reason that's what you decide to do. And third, it lacks bulletproof glass and any armor outside of what you have in the pilot seats. Now with all that said, and like I said, this will be a fairly quick review, we have scores. Now for armament, I give the Ruvalk an 8.5 out of 10. The ZT-6 ATGMs are awesome and have a mixture of the best characteristics that you could want in an ATGM. Between their speed, range, and power, they can strike an enemy before they even know it hits them, allowing you to slink back behind cover very quickly. The FC-49 rockets are, like I said before, middling, however, and need to be shot en masse in and at the side of an MBT again in order to get a kill. The cannon is average but has a lot of ammunition, with the Mistral AA missiles being above average or very good at best, at least compared to the more common AIM-92s. Now for speed and survivability, I give this a 5 out of 10. While fairly quick, reaching just under 300 km per hour, the Ruvalk is not especially fast and is not maneuverable which, when combined with its lack of armor, severely limits survivability. It does however have an excellent amount of automatically deploying countermeasures and a laser warning system, both of which are big bonuses. Now overall, I give the Ruvalk a 7 out of 10. If you enjoy long-range ATGMs and good air-to-air -air missiles, the Ruvalk is a great helicopter for you. While it is fairly poor at close ranges with an average cannon and middling rockets, the Ruvalk excels in long-range kills and can pop up anywhere around the fringes of the map due to its good speed and imaging systems. Now, with all that said, do I recommend the Ruvalk Mark 1F? Yes, I do. I feel that this this is an excellent helicopter and, though not as well known as other helicopters like the KA-50, it is just about as strong and possibly even stronger in several key areas. While helicopters more so act as kill streak rewards, the Ruavalk will put anyone using it into an advantageous position in any match and has the potential to earn numerous kills with relative ease, largely on the strength of its ZT-6 ATGMs and good Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. Because it is a helicopter, I would recommend waiting for a sale unless you play 
plan on doing specific helicopter battles with it, and thus will use it more often. But of course, high BR British ground users will also use this quite often as well. So base your purchase on this vehicle, at least whether it's on sale or not, based on how much you feel that you'll be using it. But that being said, that ends this video. Please let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. Of course, like and subscribe if you like this sort of content and would like to see more of it. But either way, thanks again, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.